Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Beijing and more specifically we're in one of my favorite places in Beijing. It's the best place for all the creatives and overpriced coffee and hipsters and stuff like that. It's the 798 Art District. Now this place is massive and you can literally spend all day here if you like that kind of thing. This proves to be a bit of a problem for me because I am looking for one very specific thing here and there's no real information on Google Maps where it is. So I am going to take you today to try and find the North Korean art gallery that's here. It's called the Mansaday Art Museum. I don't know whether it's closed down, I don't know whether it's still open. That's what we're going to find out today and hopefully if it's open I can take you for a look inside. Now I've read stuff before that filming and stuff like that is not permitted. Let's see what we can do. First things first though, find my way through this absolute maze and find it. Shouldn't be too hard since there should be a massive horse on top of a massive stone statue thing. The 798 Art Zone in Beijing is a 50-year-old complex of decommissioned military factory buildings with a unique style that has attracted a pretty artsy community. The area gets its name from the factory 798, even though this is just one of the many factories in the area. The original factory, 718, was then split into many subsections, which is why today there are so many factories and different areas. These factories played an important role during the Cultural Revolution, and apparently even one of the factories here produced the loudspeakers at Tiananmen Square, and other very important venues. Apparently even Kim Il-sung toured here. By the late 1980s and early 1990s, the factories started to become defunct, and by chance, Beijing Central Academy of Fine Arts was looking for a temporary place to store some goods. From this saw the gradual birth of the art district it is today, from the early 2000s onwards. There are now permanent exhibitions here as well as special pop-up ones, so every time you come it's a bit different. As well as exhibitions, there are a variety of shops, bars, restaurants, cafes and breweries. It remains to be a creative space of expression for artists over China and all over the world including even North Korea. So I've just um, tried to, I've t honestly, I've walked around for about 10 minutes now and realized that this is probably not a good idea, completely blind. So I did just try and find some information and find out that it is in area B. Um, and I know exactly which space it is. It is in B08, apparently. Um, nothing is signpost though. So I managed to find B area on, um, on the maps, but got to find number eight. Let's go. So just ahead of me, finally, I think I could see a big horse on top of a statue thing. So that's promising. This horse is not just any horse. For those familiar with North Korea, you may have heard of something called Cholima. This is a mythical horse that can travel great distances at great speeds, and it's used by North Korea to describe its rapid rate of growth and ability to produce infrastructure. There is a big statue of Cholima in Pyongyang, and this is a smaller version. It's been here since 2009 when the Mansaday Art Museum was founded. The Mansaday Art Studio in North Korea is one of the biggest production centers of art in the world. It was established in 1959 and produces all of the country's important pieces of art, including the big statues of the leaders in Pyongyang and any other statues of the leaders throughout the country. You can visit the studios in North Korea usually, but since the country is off limits at the moment, I turn to the next best thing, the Mansaday Art Museum. Like most things North Korea related that have had to shut down due to sanctions, I fully expected this place to be closed. 
and sure enough, as I showed up, it was closed. After taking some footage outside, turns out they were just having a lunch break and it is still actually functional. The art museum in Beijing is a space owned by the studio and so it's all North Korean state commission goods. It is North Korea's only official art gallery abroad and therefore a rare opportunity to enjoy the North Korean art and socialist realism that usually defines it. Next to the artworks are the details of the artist so you know if it's a North Korean's piece or a Chinese person's piece. You can admire collections from North Korean artists as well as Korean Chinese artists, and there are also some for sale. Some of the pieces were Chinese or Korean landscapes, whilst others were landscapes from abroad, perhaps suggesting where the North Korean artists had been stationed or had spent some time. What I find really interesting to see here is how you have these paintings here that are really, really Korean style and landscapes. And then right next to it, you have these paintings here that are very, very like cool and obviously not done by a North Korean. And then you have another one that's like a typical landscape that you would see in North Korea. There is also a gift shop style area at the back where you can purchase many items you'd find in any gift shop in Pyongyang. Just walking into the bit at the back now where they have a shop and it is exactly like being in a shop in Pyongyang. They've got posters, propaganda posters, they've got postcards, they've got stamps, they've got badges, um, they've got lots and lots to choose from. Reminds me of exactly being in Pyongyang in like the foreign language bookstore. They've got books to choose from. I'm gonna see what I can get. They even had up-to-date 2023 stuff here, so it's clear they're still functioning. Hold on until the end for how you can get one of these pieces too. This is the biggest collection of North Korean art outside North Korea, but if you can't get yourself to Beijing and you're in desperate need of some original, high-quality DPRK art from North Korean art specialists, I'll put a link to one of the biggest online collections in the video notes for you to browse. By the end of that, they started filming me, so I think it's time to get out. That concludes the visit. I'm actually really surprised that one, I managed to find it because it was pretty tricky to find. It took me about 20 minutes, half an hour, walking through this village art area. But two, I'm really surprised that it was open. And when I first got here, it was on a break and it just looked like people having coffee. And I presume that that's what happened to it. But then they opened as I was filming some stuff outside. So 
that's what you get for waiting around for an extra 10 minutes, I guess. Anyway, hope you enjoyed a look inside the Mansaday Art Museum and had a good insight of North Korean art. And if you want any more information on um, Mansaday Art Gallery, on North Korean art, stuff like that, I've put so many links in the show notes um, for more information on North Korean art and also how you can purchase your own. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, and welcome to this extra end bit of this video. Before we go though, I want to do something a little bit special. I did do a giveaway around this time last year, and so um, now that I've had access to more North Korean stuff, I thought, hey, it's another great opportunity to do another giveaway. So I picked up a couple of things at the Man's Day Art Studio. One of them will be a giveaway item, and one of them I'm gonna keep. You get to decide. Firstly, most importantly, what you guys can win. Oh. I picked up two North Korean calendars. These are 2023 calendars, the brand new calendars from North Korea. Um, let me show you. This is calendar number one. And the theme here is quite clear, okay? You guys can see it. Um, it's pretty similar theme throughout. Let me show you some of the months. What's in store for us in May? More tanks and rockets. Oh no, ro oh yeah, there are rockets there. Okay, so you get the feel for that one. That is calendar number one. Calendar number two, a little bit of a different vibe, not gonna lie. This is the front of it here. So this one, bit of a different vibe. It's scenery, lovely scenery from North Korea. Um, this one is a scene from Pekdesan. This one is Chilbosan in winter. Oh, look at it, March, lovely times. Um, and April is bringing lots of sakura flower. Nice, lots of cherry blossom. And um, May, a bit different from the rocket vibe that we were just getting. These are the Pagyon Falls. It is um, North Korean landscape. So, basically, I am going to give away one of those calendars. And then I'm gonna keep on myself. Feel free to have whichever one you want. You can choose when you win the competition, okay? And now I'm gonna tell you how to enter the competition. So, first off, you're going to like this video. Thank you very much. And then you're going to leave a comment saying if nothing was any object, if money, time, anything like that was any object, what tour are you going to go on in North Korea in 2024. So where are you putting North Korea in your diary for 2024? Where is your North Korea tour going on your calendar for 2024? And then head over to Instagram and there will be a post on here. It will be very, very clear saying like competition entry post and it'll all be about the art gallery and the posters and stuff like that, like the, the calendars. Go and put the same comment on to the Instagram like literally you can just copy and paste on YouTube from YouTube onto Instagram put that same comment and then like there as well um, I will be doing like a random method using Instagram so make sure that you do do that second step as well because I don't know how to do it on YouTube um, but if a name is picked on Instagram and then I come over to YouTube and check and see and your name's not here, then unfortunately I'm gonna have to pick another winner. So make sure that you do those three steps, okay? If you wanna share it um, with your friends, if you wanna put it on your Instagram stories, yeah, post it around. That's gonna get you absolutely no bonus more points. <laughs> but it will uh, make me very happy and I'll appreciate that. And of course, your friends will also appreciate it as well uh, because they'll get to enter the competition. There are limited entries per person, but hey, why not just ask your friends and family to enter for you? There's gotta be one winner and it could be you. I hope that's all clear. Good luck for the competition, guys, and uh, looking forward to see which calendar I end up with. Bye-bye. <laughs>